he didn't think he'd see his home ever again. Albito Suarez was just eight when he and his grandfather were forced to leave his hometown, La Guayas de Luna. After the construction of a new dam, their valley was flooded. Albito's home vanished in a new artificial lake. This is where we lived. These are my childhood memories. We'd play in the streets right here. This is where the village came together, because this street led to the highway. Well, you can see what's happened to it now. Sixty years later, La Guayas and 15 other villages are re-emerging as water levels drop dramatically. The Iberian Peninsula has suffered particularly from climate change. A few weeks ago, water levels in the Spanish reservoirs reached a new historic low. But the surrounding population relies on the water from this dam for their homes and fields. Albito Suarez is angry. He says the precious resource is being wasted carelessly. It actually is possible to fight the drought with sound water policies. You need to organize how fields are watered and modernize the system. But that's where things are failing at the moment. Large parts of Spain's irrigation system are indeed in bad repair. From spring to autumn, water is diverted to nearby fields through open channels with a lot of water evaporating along the way. Guillermo Matecon knows this all too well, for he relies on the irrigation for his fields. He grows wheat, corn, potatoes and turnips in Castilian Soto de la Vega. This is all outdated. These canals have been here for over 40 years. They are leaky. That accounts for about 10% of the water lost before it reaches me. But there are canals that are even older. There they might lose up to 40%. Guillermo Matecon wants to repair the aqueducts. But it's not up to him to decide if the open concrete channels are replaced by subterranean pipes. First, the regional farmer cooperative must vote on it. But many aren't willing to shoulder the cost themselves and feel that politics have abandoned them. Cada vez hay más they are cutting an increasing amount of subsidies. If there were more subsidies, I'm sure more farmers would be in favor of modernizing. Many are discouraged by the high costs. The regional government of Castile and Leon is prepared to invest 600 million euros into renovating the irrigation system under one condition. We want the farmers to merge their fields so that each plot reaches the minimum size required for a modern watering system. But many are unwilling to do that because they feel connected to their lands. So we're not only dealing with an economic, but also a cultural problem. To save water and build a modern irrigation system, farmers would have to redraw property lines. Albito Suarez is skeptical. He doesn't believe politics will be able to persuade all farmers. But that's exactly what is urgently needed. Anything else, he says, would just be a slap in the face. Water is going to waste at the cost of everybody who contributed to creating this dam, this wealth. Of course that bothers me. Why did we make such sacrifices if they can't appreciate it today? It's of little comfort to Albito Suarez that he might be able to visit his sunken village again soon the next time Spain suffers from drought and water shortage.